Hi everyone, this is Rick from Montana Law. This is Ty with Montana Outlaw Barbecue. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We've been having great time showing you different recipes, different ideas, and our YouTube channel's taken off. It continues to grow. We continue to welcome all of our new followers. Make sure you comment on what you want to see us cook. But today, Rick had an idea. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna hurt some feelings, but by God, we're gonna do it anyway. We're calling this series the Collision Series. And this will be two items that sound like they might be the same. Maybe they are, and maybe they're not. So today we have ground chuck, which everybody knows. Everybody has a chuck in their life, right? They're dependable, reliable. That's what ground chuck is. It's a very good cut of ground beef. I can't freaking believe I did this. I spent my hard earned money buying an impossible burger. Made from plants. So is ours just in a different way. So they are similar. You gotta remember, we are from Montana. We raise cattle in Montana and Impossible Burger is hard for us to conceive, but we'll give it a fair shake. You never know, we, I might be wrong, but uh, I thought it was gonna be impossible for me to ever buy an Impossible Burger. At the end of this video, we're gonna blindfold him. He's gonna try them both side by side, see if he can actually tell the difference. But what's he actually gonna be? We all know ground chuck is just that. It's a chuck roast, it's got a lot of fat in it. Typically it's gonna be 60% to 80% beef, 20% to 40% fat. Ground chuck lends for a really nice juicy burger. It's what you're gonna find smash burgers from like a Five Guys and an Out Burger. They're gonna be using a ground chuck roast. So that's why we always go ground chuck. There's a lot of different ways that they make Impossible Burgers, so let's see what we have in this one. We have water, soy protein concentrate, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and natural flavors. Oh man, I'm salivating. This right. is you talk about. 2% less of potato protein. So this one, you see some of them are made with beans. This one is gonna be more soy based. Um, so that's what he's gonna be doing. So I'm interested to see, is it juicy? Is it more dry? You know, what's the texture gonna be like for him? And I'm glad he's the one that gets blindfolded because that means I don't have to eat it. I'll eat the ground chuck when he's done. So go. I'm gonna turn it over to Rick. He's gonna walk you through the process of how he's gonna cook it. I'm gonna step back and just enjoy the show, much like I hope you maybe, guys do. Maybe we should have Ty blindfolded too. We both do the blind test, see how we go. We might do that. Uh, I think I'm busy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So, all right, here we're back. Now we're gonna season these two samples we're gonna run, ground chuck and the Impossible Burger. We're gonna season them exactly the same so that they give them a fair comparison. Looking at them, if you look at them right now, they look very similar. I mean, you, I can tell the difference because you got the portions of fat in the chuck and this is more of a uniform texture, but they look similar. So let's just put a light coat of our beef rub on it. We don't wanna over season these because they are a smaller piece of meat. Okay, so right now we're just going to quickly flip them over, season the other side, and they'll be ready to go on the Blackstone. Okay, we're all done seasoning now. I'm assuming that the plant-based Impossible Burger doesn't have a lot of built-in fat, so I'm gonna cook it with a little bit of vegetable uh, shortening. And then of course, the uh, chuck, ground chuck will have natural fat, so it'll help in the frying process. So we're ready to go and put them on the, on the Blackstone. Okay, we're gonna put on these burgers. And then we're gonna put a little bit of this oil on here. And we'll put your Impossible Burgers on.
Okay, everyone, we're back. We just got them off the, the Blackstone. You can obviously tell the difference between the two. The ground chuck is a little, appears to be more juicy, but they both have a char on them and they're both looking good. So I think we're ready to try it. Uh, we're gonna welcome Brittany, our marketing manager for Montana Outlaw Barbecue. She does all our social media stuff. Yeah, so, hi everyone. <laughs> so you don't get to see her much, but you see a lot of her works, right? Excited to have her help me today. She's gonna blindfold me and she's gonna give me samples, each one of them, so I can evaluate them and see if there is really a difference or they're not. We'll see. Oh, I can't believe I'm eating How big a bite do you want? No, don't give me too big a bite. Huge. No, just in case it's impossible, we're gonna want a big bite. Okay, ready? Here comes. <laughs> I know which one this one is. Which is it? This is the Impossible Burger. Okay, you want to try the other one now? Yeah, no second, I, I don't, yeah. <laughs> Having a tough time? It's like eating them. It's really dry. It doesn't taste awful, but it's really dry. Okay. Okay. Give me a chuck. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, open wide. That's not Chuck. That's not Chuck. That's an impossible burger. You're making me eat two bites of it. Okay. We'll Still it. dry. <laughs> kind of like eating a piece of jerky. It smells like jerky. Oh, thanks. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, this is a real one. Sure. For real. You wouldn't mess okay. with me, would you? Open wide. <laughs> oh, this is Chuck. It's Chuck. Good old dependable Chuck. Moist, juicy. <laughs> Good. Well, there is a difference. <laughs> but I can tell you, if you're having a barbecue and you have some guests coming that insist on it, it's not awful. It's dry. You put enough condiments on in a bun, <laughs> it's probably, <laughs> even probably even digestible. But stick with Chuck, guys. It's the better, it's the best choice. All right, so I got to see Rick taste them. I, I thought his reactions were really good. Um, we had to play a little bit of a joke there on him and let him taste them both, but I'm, I am gonna give it a little try uh, and just kind of see um, see the difference in it. I mean, yeah, the flavors, the flavor's pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, a little dry, you need to see him. Look, look at this, but look how much moist this yeah. one still is, and that one's dry. And I mean, you got, of course, you got Chuck. The ground chuck, which is, yeah, just a really good solid burger all the way around. Super juicy, easy to cook. So, I do want to hit on a little bit of what I saw while they were being cooked. One, Rick did put down a little oil, a little vegetable oil before on this. But the biggest thing that you're going to notice, and there was some decent sizzle that came out of them. Most of that's going to be from that coconut uh, portion of it in there and, and a color other. But you, you can't really tell on a scale of when you would look at cooking a burger from a rare to a, a, a well done burger. It's gonna have the same color all the way through. They were on the grill for the exact same amount of time, cooked at the exact same temperature on the, on the Blackstone. So they should be cooked about the same, as opposed to when we cut open our, our ground chuck burger and you look at it, you can get that nice medium color on that. That's not rare, that's not well done. And I mean, you can just look at the juice that runs out of that compared to when I squeeze this one, no. you, get, you get no juice. No. So flavor is good. I agree with Rick. Probably be just fine with some condiments on a bun. The texture profile is a little different. This has a little bit more like, hard to describe it, kind of like an airy texture, a little lighter texture from being that plant-based where this one you get that nice beefy fat. So, All yeah. right, it was interesting to see, interesting to try again. Not bad, a lot better. Yeah. So remember, buy beef. Thanks for watching this video today. This is our first episode of our Collision series where we'll take items that are sound similar or they might be similar, and maybe they are, maybe they're not. So we'll try it. Exciting, we got some new topics coming up. I think they're gonna be fun. Yeah. 
If you guys have anything, any ideas for something that may fall into this category, comment down below. We are constantly watching and hearing from you guys, right. and we want to cook some things that are of interest. So if yeah. you think you have something for this category, let us know, and, and we'll see what we can do to, to bring it up. As always, make sure you check out all of our social media areas, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, right here on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like, hit bell button. You don't want to miss anything that we have coming up as we move forward into the new year. Thank you guys again, everyone, for tuning in. Remember, at 1,000 followers, we're giving away a grill. Make sure you're in that first 1,000. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you enjoyed it.